problem that your crew might report is, hey, the valve's in the closed position, but I'm still getting water leaking through. Luckily, it's the same procedure and a real similar part to what you have in the Oasis valve. Although the, the cup seal itself might be a different size, um, but same process. There's some kind of a retainer ring uh, or a mate, and then you have the valve seat itself. The valve seats, the back of them, have this little lip to it that over time you wear that lip down and that's where you get the problem of, hey, I got water leaking past, but it's in the closed position, what's going on? You wore down that lip. So no special tools. So once this backs out now, mm -hmm. basically what's left is a coupling threaded onto a mate, threaded onto the casting. And so what's cool is you don't actually need any special tools. You can just grab the storts as long as it's locked down. Oh, on thread. Oh, there is. So this is what the mate's going to look like on all four of them. Mm -hmm. So on the other two, because it's not going to be on this one, the other two will have an O-ring. Sometimes it gets stuck in the casting. So what's the tip you hope people know about that? This is field serviceable, especially on the valve seats. When the problem comes in that the valve's in the closed position and I'm still getting water passed, all we're doing is wearing down that valve seat. 